All right, we are week four, day three, DLR, we're getting ready to go over it. It looks like a hot mess, and yet I do not have my little uh, diagram that I usually look at, otherwise known as my cheat sheet. All right, here we go. You will take well pictures if you know how to use and camera. I don't know. Is that how you would say it? Hold on. Is that how you would say it, though? You would take well pictures? Like, are you going to take pictures of a well? No. And I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell pictures. But who's going to give me the spelling on this bad boy? Uh, Case, or Kelly, go. That is correct. Spell it again. P-I-T-C-U-R-E-S. Pick. Oh, wait. I, I messed that up. Oh, my goodness. Let's try it again. P-I-C-T-U-R-E-S. Is that correct? It is correct. Pictures, right? All right. You will take well pictures if you know how to use and camera. There's so many spelling errors here. My brain is hurting. Who's going to help me fix these? Is it going to be Gretchen? Yeah, no, it's going to be Harper. Get it, Harper. No is spelled wrong. No is spelled wrong. Could you get... Now, that's a homophone, right? No and no. Spelled differently, but sound the same. I cannot get over that, that bruise on your cheek. All right, go ahead, honey. So, how do you spell it? K N O W. K N. Oh, W. Yes, that's correct. You will take well pictures. Could someone please fix well pictures for me? What should that be? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, you. Change well to good. Yeah, you will take good pictures if you know how to use and camera. Yeah, now it sounds funny, right? Gabby, how should that be? What should it be? You will take good pictures if you know how to use and camera. A camera. Very good. And I'm glad you reread it. That's a rarity. So what did Gabby do? She, she read. Then she. Everyone. Everyone. Ed. And then we're going to do what? Very good. So we read, edit, write. Fred, does it look good now? You will take good pictures if you know how to use a camera. Does that look good? Sounds good. Looks good. And it looks like there's four corrections on that one. Four. All right. If you practice much, you'll soon be a well photographer. <laughs> Man, that's hard to read them like that, right? Because they're just a, so. How? What would you say? You wouldn't say much. What would you say there, Koval? Um, a lot. Yeah. How do you spell a lot? A L O. Uh oh. oh, oh. Vinny, give it to me. A space L O T. A space L O T. Is that what you meant, Koval? A lot is not one word. It's two words. A lot. Uh, if you practice a lot, comma. Um, you'll soon be a well photographer. I don't know. I mean, is that how you would say it, Fred? What would you say there? Change well to good, Fred says. If you practice a lot, you'll soon be a good photographer. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Photographer. There it is. So it looks like on this one, we have one, no. two, three. Holy moly, Fred. Fred was like, no. <laughs> I didn't see it. It's weird. Sometimes I, yeah, okay. So let me spell it correctly. All right. Yes. P-R-A-C-T-I-C-E, right? If you practice a lot, you'll soon be a good photographer. Thank you, Frederick, for, for not letting me do that. It looks like there is three corrections on that one, right? All right. 
Now we read, edit, right now I, I'm looking around in the morning and I'm starting to see kids use the small and accurate model that we talk about in here. If you practice a lot, right? Comma, you will, what is you will a contraction of soon? Does anybody know? B a good photographer period what is that a contraction of uh intensity yeah right it's you will smash together into you all okay here we go you ready rewrite the underlying part to put the words in the correct order oh man this is so great this is what we're working on right? These are adjectives. They need to be in the right order. All right. Let's see if someone can do it. If you have a digital modern camera, be sure to read the instruction manual. Who could? Gary. If you have a modern digital camera, be sure to read the instruction Modern digital camera. Does that sound? It sounds right, right? If you have a modern Digital camera, comma, be sure to read the instruction manual. I'm, I'm just not an instruction manual guy. I probably should be, but I always jump right to it and mess around first. Are you ready? It says, draw a line between the prefix and the root word. Then write the meaning on the line. All right, so a digital camera is a handy because it lets you preview your pictures. I remember a time before digital cameras. A time where there were no camera phones or no phones that you held in your hand. Yeah. Early 90s, there were no, I mean, flip phones didn't come to like 96 and 7. Like, no, they weren't even flip phones. They were like, you know. I still have one. I'll bring it in. All right. Let's, I digress. Here we go. Preview. Where is the root word in preview? Who can give me the root word? I'll write it in blue. View. Okay. Hold on. And for my blue groupers, then what then is the prefix? Vin. Pre. All right. So then do you know what the prefix pre, what does pre mean? What does this meaning have? It has its own meaning. Leo. Before. Before. All right. So then what does preview mean? Everyone should know it. Yes. To view before. Gretchen gave me a look like Mr. T. I know this. To view before. All right, guys. That is DLR week four, day three in the books. Tadero.